Okay, man, I can watch them. <clears throat> There, Do Aung San Suu Kyi. I believe I speak on behalf of all members of Amnesty in Norway and indeed all over the world when I say that you have for years been and still are <clears throat> one of our greatest sources of inspiration. <clears throat> in fact, to me, you personify human rights work. To be effective in working for human rights, you need to be wise in strategy and actions. You need to be persistent and work tirelessly towards your goals without expecting the gratification of immediate success. You need to be true to your principles. Never be tempted to sac sacrifice your principles to gain short-term wins at the cost of your long-term objectives. What and is you need Chile to be, if not wise, persistent, true to her principles, and courageous? And by being... There's a guy singing behind me. And by being so, you have shown us an example of the most important of all. You have shown us that this approach works. You are here, released from house arrest, and in a position to continue your work for a better life for your fellow Burmese. Thank you. But on this day of celebration and great symbolic significance for all of us, we must not forget the many who still languish in Burmese prisons or indeed in prisons around the world because they have exercised what we all agree are their human rights. I feel humble and happy and it's a great honour to leave the floor to Nobel Peace Prize Laureate 1991, Aung San Suu Kyi. When we long for something, we compare this longing, longing to the yearning of early men for the return of the sun, because they were never sure that night would turn back into day. I think you in Norway understand more than most people what light means <laughs> and how to cherish it. Because of that, I think you have held out a light to us in our times of darkness. You have imparted some of your Nordic hardiness to us in our times of weakness. I don't think I could have stood all this wind the way you can stand it. <laughs> you have been our friend throughout the darkest years. That is why I've always said that the destination of my first country abroad would be Norway. I wanted to come here simply to say thank you, to thank the people of Norway for their friendship for their understanding, for their compassion, for their practical help. In your country, I've met many of my countrymen and women. They have found sanctuary here. They have found understanding. They love Norway, but still they want to come home. That is very natural. People want to return to their homes. And I would like to appeal to you to help them all to return to their homes. They have to be able to come back to a home that is safe and that is free. And that is what we're all working for. You in Norway are so safe that perhaps you do not realize how it, how it is not to be safe. But you understand how unsafe we feel. 
And that is why you have helped us and people like us all over the world. I didn't speak, write a speech for today because I had not thought of giving a speech, simply of offering my thanks to you. I would like to offer my thanks in many kinds of ways, not just in words, but in building a closer friendship between our nations and in making the world understand what Norway means to us in Burma and other peoples who are suffering from oppression and injustice. Without a country like yours that helps for the sake of helping and not because you have a private agenda of your own, many people in this world would be deprived of not just their freedom, but their lives as well. We know that you will continue with your work for people who suffer from injustice. We would like to do this work with you. We would like to get to that point in time when we too can, like you, offer sanctuary to those who are in need. But first of all, we have to build a sanctuary for our own people. Not because we are selfish, because it is just, just not practical to offer sanctuary to others when our home is not yet safe for ourselves. Can you get in there? now, any time that you come to Burma, Norwegians will be welcome. Because we in Burma will never forget your kindness. understand what the Burmese are saying. Uh, usually they always say, may you be in good health and may you have happiness. And uh, that is to say, good health is uh, physical ease and comfort and happiness is, is mental and emotional ease and comfort. So let's all the Burmese here say Jamabazi and Chandabazi for the people of Norway. Jamabazi, Chandabazi, Hello, Mujesuji Mare. And we would all like to say thank you in Burmese. Shall we? Jesu de Mare. Jesu de Mare. Thank you very much. And please look upon your country, our country, as your very own. You will always be welcome there. Thank you.